In this state diagram, we are showing the possible states of a vehicle configuration that the users are creating. Vehicle configurations have five possible states, new, valid, invalid, changed, or final. In this example, a new vehicle configuration can become a valid, invalid, or changed configuration. But a configuration can only reach a final state if it's valid first, meaning you cannot finish your configuration with any errors in the configuration. A valid or invalid configuration can become a changed configuration. A changed configuration can become a valid or invalid configuration. For example, if you created a basic car and then tried to take it down to only one door or add two types of tires, that may result in an invalid configuration. State diagrams are extremely useful when you are dealing with any objects that go through complex state changes, such as a vehicle configuration or an order being processed. Some objects only exist in one or two states and therefore you do not really need to create a state diagram to represent that. The state diagram in particular is useful to see the logical flow of state changes of the object, the life cycle of the object in the system, as compared to a state table, which we'll cover in a later section. State diagrams are useful because they are easy to review for the business and for the flow of transitions and for the development team for them to implement them. They may also trigger you to see that you need to elicit detailed requirements and business rules around the state changes or states. For example, in this case, we have an invalid state object, so we have to define the requirements about what makes the configuration invalid. State tables are one of our two state models, the other being state diagrams, which we cover in another section. State tables show the transitions of states, and in this case, they specifically show all possible state transitions from any given state to any other state. To create state tables, you have to first identify the object you want to analyze the states for. Then you have to identify all the possible states of that object. Now you list all of those states across the first column, or down the first column and across the first row, making a grid to be filled in. Then for each box in the grid, mark an X or a number in each of the intersection points of a valid state transition. For example, if you can move from state B to state C, you would then put an X in the box where state B is the row name and state C is the column name. Each box that has a mark or number in it is actually a requirement that may need to be described in detail. So you can do that in addition to the state table.